second hand insecure i never do things for me no more because i'm too insecure but see no one wants to talk about it they want to make sly remarks these you know what this makes me look like I thought that was gonna be cooler than what that came off as, but it wasn't. Yeah, I <laughs> am so inconsistent. But like, no one is. It has come to my attention that no one is really as consistent as I'm trying to push myself to be consistent. I'm actually trying to go to the gym to uh, essentially run a mile and not even run it the whole time. I run walk. Half of it run, half of it walk. Trust me, I'm trying to do better than that, but for the moment, that is where I am per. And uh, yeah, why did I turn on the camera? Oh, to let you know how inconsistent I am. Plus, YouTube, bro, why is it that it's not giving me the recommended I want it to give me? Lately, I've been really, really only watching Sunday Love. And not even like regular new posting she's made. I've known of her for a long time, but really recently, like really, really recently, I've been into her videos. Just, she's just a vibe. I'm like watching videos that are two years old, three years old, monthly vlogs, bro. And I just gotta think, wow. Imagine somebody watching, binge watching my videos a year or two later. I'd be like, wow, really could've used the watch hours. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I'm not trying to complain. YouTube's just not really giving me the recommendations I want to see. I don't even know what to watch. I've been hopping back and forth between Netflix and YouTube. And Netflix must be stopped. I completely finished, um, Roma Therapy. The Roma, the Ro- Amen, say man. You see the picture. I'm not finna struggle no more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not used to being so genuine off rip. I feel like I gotta laugh every other sentence because nobody is here to laugh with me. And to fill in the empty space, I laugh. But I don't really wanna do that anymore. I kinda wanna just be myself. Still working on that. Every time I feel like YouTube is just struggling on the what it's wanting to recommend me video line, um, I just feel like that's my calling to stop watching it and film. Stop watching it and edit. Oh, I've been procrastinating editing. I'm not really pleased with the schedule I had before because it simply was not working. I was essentially pulling content out of my ass and I don't think I want to do that anymore. I think I want to give out good genuine content that like shows more of who I am for real, but I don't know how to do that. Like low key, I'm trying to practice being myself just in front of the camera cause it's weird. It's we like real life, if real life you're not right here with me, bro, it it's weird. And I try not to be so homo sirisa and just do it. Cause this is what I genuinely want to do. I just get embarrassed about the fact that this is what I want to do. Yes, I want to be an influencer. Sue me. Don't actually sue me. I literally can't afford the court fees. But there's just so much to do. I keep running into the, the same issue of wanting to do a bunch of things and immediately getting overwhelmed because either aspects of that thing that I want to do isn't perfectly set up in the way that I want to do or I have to prep for something else that I really didn't have the energy to do in order to do that first thing that I wanted to do. For example, I wanted to do my makeup. Just put on a face. But at the same time, I wanted to steam my nose for my nose piercing because I keep yanking them. That's, that's the realest thing. I take care of them, but I yank them accidentally. Putting on clothes, shirts, towels, anything that touches my face, even like wiping my eye, it touches my nose and my nose gets agitated. And what do you do to fix that? You steam it. And no matter which way I ended up choosing to steam it, I couldn't do my makeup beforehand. But I ended up doing that first and didn't end up putting on makeup. In fact, I went so far as to steam my nose and my nose piercings and put sunscreen on my face. Which if you were questioning why my face was so greasy, that's why. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I hear a lot of people outside and I hope they're not in the gym. Yeah, I probably just need a gym membership. I have ways, AKA my cousin has a Planet Fitness membership and she can bring one free guest. <sighs> Making a schedule with somebody. That's worse than a group project. I'm definitely neurodivergent. What keep watching?
I get when I get too self-conscious and feel like I don't need to record this is how I miss content would you say I don't need to be that violent yeah well I was gonna change into something that could hold these yiddies because I'm finna run but actually I was gonna show you the only Gymshark piece that I got influenced into purchasing literally has bleach stains I did this quite some time ago very early when I bought this and that just kind of hurt me like I don't even, I don't even wash with bleach. I don't know how this happened. Don't be afraid to sponsor me. That's what I really gotta do. I really gotta start acknowledging products that I really be using for real. Because that's how these girlies get sponsored. That's how I assume they get sponsored. I truly don't know. But I would love, okay, to be sponsored. But yes, I also have this crop top. These are very old. I know Jim Sharp right now, they got a bunch of Whitney Simmons. Is that her name? She just came out with a line. I didn't know who she was before, but I definitely been influenced to know her now. I never wear this. One, because it's a crop top and I've been chronically shamed by my family to never show my skin ever. But I really just had to realize, bro, it's not me. That's my family's insecurities being projected onto me. I really gotta let that go. And last but not least, the leggings. Of course, Gymshark. Now, none of these match because I was definitely in the sales section for the sales. I got it like one Black Friday. I was trying to upgrade my workout attire because I felt like, you know, I was taking the fitness seriously. Actually having some gym clothes. I really just work out in anything that I have that is convenient, man. Should I wear these? I'm low-key insecure to wear these even. Because these, these, you know what this makes me look like? It honestly makes me look like a bad bitch. And not that I live in the middle of nowhere, but I live in the middle of a city where people look kind of, um, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, be nice, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Average. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but I'm being so Cause sometimes it really don't even be people seeing me, seeing me for real, but it be the maintenance workers just happen to be outside. They're out there a lot, but I always run into at least one of them. If not during the walk there or the walk back, then me genuinely in the gym and there's a hallway in the gym where you can cross through to the office. They'll just walk, not more than twice, definitely once at least. I hope they're not doing that on purpose cause that y'all could get a little creepy. This is the fit. I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel secondhand insecurity right now. Independently, I would have no fear to wear what I wanna wear because I'm a grown adult, I can wear what I want. If you have a problem, I'm right here. Talk about it. But see, no one wants to talk about it. They wanna make sly remarks about my fit. Something's wrong. What do you say? I could just Put the camera down. It's the secondhand insecurity. I don't have the insecurity, but I feel the secondhand insecurity because my inner circle, I guess the people I'm around, are very insecure women. I'ma just say it. Just say it. You know, people around me, people in my circle, be insecure. And I be feeling bad because I'm not insecure. I know that sounds stupid, but somebody out there gotta relate. Because when you look like a bad B, when you look like a bad B, and you're the only one looking like a bad B. I'm not saying you can't look like a bad B by yourself. It is definitely possible. In fact, encouraged. But it's the fact that I'm surrounded with people who don't, who can't carry that type of confidence, who don't have that type of view about themselves or their bodies. Like I be emotionally carrying the weight of the people around me. I really try to like tone myself down and I'm really trying to not do that no more really gotta stop empathizing so deeply with other people and their insecurities to the point where like, ah, you either wanna be a bad bitch with me or 
You're gonna be insecure by yourself. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sink lower to make you feel better. I really need to stop doing that with the people who are close to me. The people who really need to hear that. You know, I think, Sky, you're just gonna run. Do you really have to look like a bad bitch in your crusty, dusty apartment complex? Well, no, but I do. I want to. That should be my only reason. Secondhand insecure. I never do things for me no more cause I'm too insecure. To have the confidence independently. What's crazy is that I know I don't have to do that. It's all psychological. It's in my noggin. I don't have to be this way. And yet I choose every time. It's simply the confrontation for me. I don't want nobody saying nothing about anything. I want you to completely pretend that me being a bad bitch was normal from the jump. Cause they gotta project the way they've been feeling about themselves onto me. And then it makes me weird because I'm hopping back and forth in between like being my own self, holding my own cause I know I have it like that. Well you got it baby. You're kind of wasting time trying to act like you don't. If that makes me a narcissist, then so be it. Let me put on my shoes before I convince myself somehow that I don't want to run. <laughs> Working out in general. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's been very ghetto. <laughs> very ghetto. Just because I don't have the same type of access to the same gym like I did in college. Like, being in college, you get access to their like full-fledged equipment gym. And that was really nice. I didn't know how to use half of that machinery. But they don't have like a bunch of those in my current gym that I use. But yeah, it's only ghetto because I don't have the same access to equipment like I once did. If I did, I don't know. I'd probably make another excuse, to be honest. I very much have to lean on my own commitment to myself and my journey and to just like keep going. I'm not even as consistent as I desire to be, but taking it day by day, you know, if I choose to go more than not, then it's closer than not doing it at all. I 